episode where we encountered Hazama the duck and this wonderful young lady who I don't happen to have the names of. I'm not even sure if this is actually the correct place so please excuse me as I go to my log. Residential happens to fix a flat tire went to the town. What? Yeah hold on let me go back. I'm sorry that that was, okay, I fixed the plan out. yeah, I remember, and went with her into town, okay. This is the residential area of, uh, of the, on the opposite bank of the lake to Windmill Hill, I can't read today, where <laughs> we were just now. Yeah, I'll take you back to your home. It seemed like she was going to say, but, before she stopped speaking. For a girl with a walking disability, just because she was shown a little kindness, she can't bring some guy she hardly knows back to her house. Don't mention it. If your tire ever goes flat again, call me anytime. I only said it as a joke, but she blushed and looked down nervously. But. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, you're welcome. That would have been my response, but okay. If you're thanking me, you already did that just now. You know, it actually is right. Oh, she could be a friend. Yeah, me too, and I saw something unusual too. The ladder that we had just seen was now flying in the air above the hill where we were just now. She murmured quietly and giggled. I like this music, it's really calming. Reminds me of Katawa Shoujo, actually. Uh, coupled with her cute and dainty appearance was her lovely smile. Okay, take care. The wheel squeaked as she pushed the wheelchair along with her hands down an empty street. I heard the duck wearing a hat waddle along with her. I'm sorry, I'm kind of like thinking of the whole Haas Mother Duck thing. Anyway, hey! She snapped her hands, turned, she snapped her hands and turned to face me. See you again. She looked troubled and embarrassed, then left without saying anything. Oh, that's kind of rude. She sure was cute. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I would think so. <laughs> I I really do think she's good. Anyway, where is she from? Her appearance is quite graceful, as if she were the daughter of a rich family. Yeah, with a duck. A little lady with a duck. Oh, shoot. Crap. Uh, can I go back? I guess not. Oh, oh well. I suck. I'm sorry. <laughs> now I'm going to the dormitory called Flying Fish Manor. Any time now. Now I'm going. Oh shoot! Due to certain circumstances, that place will be my new home. I'm stuck at storytelling at this point. <laughs> While walking along the gently sloping street, I look up at the clouds moving ahead, moving above, floating so freely like that. They reminded me of the glider. That distinctive silhouette had left a mysterious impression on me. An impression that I was not recording the time. Um, I'm 
I'm not sure when I started. I don't know. Huff, puff, I finally found it. This place. This is it? Flying Fish Manor. Yep, looks like it. Oh. There's such a big difference between its appearance and its name. Yeah. Flying Fish Manor. It's a manor. It's a man of war. A man or a manor. Not man or crap. I can't. That did sound really weird when I said that. Manor. 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 Okay, anyway. That's like giving a tough looking Japanese Tosa a name like Lily. Lily Sato. Just kidding. Um. Ah, whatever. Anyway, I'm trying. I'm just trying to figure out when exactly I started, but I don't know. I don't know when I started. I'd say probably made what five minutes ago. I don't know. At least call it Maison du Fla. Me okay, or something. <laughs> Phew. That's why we. Even, that's why even though I looked everywhere, I still couldn't find it. Because I thought it's not this place. I completely ruled it out. Then walked around and around this area. <laughs> even now, I still can't believe that. So I'll check the sign one more time. Flying Fish Manor. There's no doubt about it. Even so, I'm still not entirely convinced. But that's what it says. Oh, well, whatever. I mean, I know a lot about this place. Oh, I'm sorry, professional. But I thought you haven't been here for years, but what is going on? It's an old European-style building on the shore of the lake. And because its appearance is a little spooky, when we were kids, we called this building the Witch's Mansion. As a test of courage, we would often sneak into the yard. We just thought it was a religious person's residence, but it's a dormitory. Keifu Private Academy Student Dormitory. I can't just stand here in shock. Whew. Ah. Okay. I took a deep breath and stood up straight. Apparently, I just easily opened the door. May I come in? You're, you're, I'm already in. But I'm already inside. Okay, whatever. Oro? Ogekso? Oro. Oro. Oh, I'm sorry. Um. Yeah. About, um, that. <laughs> Whoa! Is that my girl or her underwear? Beard from porn. どちら様ですかあ、うん。あ、ワイ。ちょっとこれ、ちょっとこれ、ワイ。ちょっとこれ、ワイ。ちょっとこれ、ワイ。ちょっとこれ、ワイ。ちょっとこれ、ワイ。
And I saw one in her underwear. Yeah. I take the sign over and over, but then I noticed this some small running in the corner. Girls' dormitory. Of course. This is a girl's dormitory. I don't remember that, apparently. Did you do this on purpose? What is this? What kind of mother are you? From now on, I'm going to be in this place's dorm mother, aren't I? Just now, they were screaming at the top of their lungs. That mother of mine. She's joining this situation. The front door opens slightly, and the girls from just now were peeking. Oh, uh, um... <laughs> when I called out to them like a surprise turtle, they pulled their faces back inside and shut the door. Arriba! I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep going on it. What shall I do about this? <laughs> Arriba! Arriba! Hey! Oh, I'm sorry. Well, this is the situation. Oh, yes, I am the new dorm mo- oh, wait, mother? While I was explaining the situation, the boarding students, apart from the girl in her underwear, it was pretty much a pose, surrounded me but kept their distance and watched at me. But isn't that the girl who was putting on clothes? Okay, whatever. This is no good, is it? A boy being the dorm mother of a girl's dormitory. I don't know, it would make me sound like a sissy. She seems totally fine with this, though. From behind the underwear girl, she was wearing clothes now, but they were pretty gaudy. There were some girls who looked like they were hiding, but they were not in the yeah, I didn't see you. Anyway, incidentally, there was now one more person than before. She was kind of timid and looked to be the same age or maybe a year younger than me. What? I'm just looking. <laughs> what is it? Um, I'm still a student. From tomorrow, I'll be going to the Kaifu Academy. I'm in the second grade. That just sounds so weird saying hey, that. I'm in the second grade. <laughs> That's not funny. Hehe, <laughs> she said. What do you mean, hehe? <laughs> the person who came to speak to all of you is my mother, and well, she kind of half tricked me into accepting the job as dorm mother. My mom has a job connected to real estate, and her company manages this property. Yes, de. Do you want to change? So you want to change? So you want The person who seemed the oldest said so, and other people are looking to be not in agreement. This is just until the owner caretaker comes back, or we find someone else. I apologize for the inconvenience, but for the time being, let's all try to get along. Once the conversation was over, naturally, everyone left and went back to their rooms. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I'm just so awesome. I mean, <clears throat> um... I don't know what i Thank you very much. Was that all of the boarding students? There's an underwear girl, Kanako, who's with me now. Uh, you 
Yuka, the tall girl with the long hair, and Sana, the girl with the glasses, the timid one who came from the back is Ryoko. That's where people all together. Oh, Oh, in other words, there are five borders in total. This building is so, excuse me, this building is pretty big, but there are only five people living in here. Time to think of it, my mom said that there are quite a few empty rooms. It's old and a little far from the school, so maybe it's not that popular. <sighs> Anyway, the conversation ended well, so I'll call my mother to let her know. So in the end, we somehow work things out. <laughs> oh, don't worry, mother. What are you talking about, Mom? Well, I already know that is. And Hazuma the duck comes flapping in. Suddenly, the sound of flapping wings came from down the hall, as if right on cue. Then a shrill voice sounded out, as if right on cue. Hazama, please. Huh? Something big and white came flying down the hallway and from behind a, at breakneck speed. Hey! Oh, hey! <laughs> was the girl in the wheelchair. Oh, you're at it again. Too slow. <laughs> the big white thing, which somehow seemed like a duck, was swapping its wings and flew behind me. A girl in a wheelchair afforded all the obstacles in her path. And in other words, me and chased down the duck. What a grip racer. I was so overwhelmed by the speed that I couldn't say anything. <laughs> Ah, that stinks, kid! <laughs> <laughs> the girl in a wheelchair caught the duck at my feet and snatched away like well, the white from his feet. <laughs> the pecking duck? Doesn't he peck already? Or maybe that's something else. Man, let's just had this cleaned! Oh, Hazuma's plans foiled again! Anyway, the girl put the duck on her knee and lectured him. I remember seeing that before. However, it's somehow a lot different to the image she had during that day. In the daytime, she seemed more dainty and delicate. However, her appearance was the same. It's not often that you see such a pretty girl. Well, looks like your tire's in good condition. She finally realized that there was a guy standing there. Huh? Yeah, I'm listening. Well, not really. Ah, uh, yeah, what was it? I'm sure we will, right, Aoi? Sure, got it. Good guy. Okay, talk to you soon, Mom. I replied as I ended the call. Are you about to punch me in the face? What's up with that, 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 uh, gesture right there? She got as far as saying that, but then realized that she has a small cloth in her hand and tried to hide it by stuffing it under her backside. So that's her name, okay. Konako, who was supposed to be having a bath, who turned that out. Ah, okay, I'm sorry, keep doing it. You were so fine with me before. Hey, look. Hey, look. 
is what it felt like she was saying as she relentlessly pointed at it. <laughs> hey, look! Hey, look! Hey, look! Look! Look, it's him! That, that guy! Anyway, uh, we... <laughs> the girl known as Kotori glared at Kanako like she was interfering. Looks like she's glaring at me, but hey, this is a visual novel. I'm the new door mother, Aoi Minase. Katori seemed to meet my introduction with reluctance. Oh, oh, oh there! Hey, Azuma, how you doing? Wait, that's it? Hat turned to face me and flapped his wings. He's a clever duck. Oh, crap, I meant Hazuma. Yes, I'm really the new dorm mother. You got a problem with that? Yes, that's right. So, you are against it? She says she doesn't like the fact that the dorm mother of the girl's dormitory is a guy, or the fact that we're the same age. There's nothing I can do about it. Tori closes her eyes and quietly takes a deep breath as they're trying to focus her mind. Kotori? Uh, during the day? Which part? <laughs> okay, Kanaka looked as if she was saying okay, okay, and she disappeared down the hallway. What? What? Oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Katori straightened her back. Holy crap, composed her expression and smile. And swish, with natural gesture, she lifted her hair up. <laughs> what's an alo? Yeah, what's alo? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I've heard that word before. <laughs> oh, this is good. She said that, then strained her back and made a composed smile again. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> I get it. All right. <laughs> oh. Soon dare much? <laughs> Such cool alul. <laughs> and I could <laughs> about every insult there is and turn her wheelchair around. Then she's hurriedly raced back down the hallway and back into her room. <laughs> and with Hazuma, of course. Along the way, Hazuma, who had been thrown off, chased after her and entered the room through a small door. Maybe a special door for ducks? Built into the bottom of the main door. Maybe it was for dogs, but then again, who knows? I looked on in disbelief. I looked on disbelief, however, rather, rather. I don't need to say this, but the dainty and delicate image that she had in the daytime kind of crumbled away. Completely. Anyway, a delicate bud was beginning to sprout, and we shared a fleeting love. But. Right? I remember lifting her hair and being so full of confidence. I feel like I burst out laughing. Cool alul. Oh my gosh, if I had my face scan, you would see my face right now. But anyway, she's so funny, I totally agree. From the beginning, everything has been so messed up. But tomorrow, it looks like things will start getting interesting. I really felt that prediction would come true. And that just about ends episode two of If My Heart Had Wings. Extend the little wings which fly in the sky highly. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Demidon of Demidon Games, and we'll be continuing with more If My Heart Had Wings in the future. Until then. Trade the papers for the future.